This game about the frog is currently 98% positive and absolutely free. Plus it's all about decimating the ecosystem around it, so it's gonna be a good day. To begin, I whip these bugs to death with my tongue. And it's gonna get a whole lot more erotic before this day is over. When the crops grow up, we harvest them and get to pick our option. We're gonna take 10% attack size to water capacity. Apparently we had a few crops giving us lots of experience, so we're gonna take attack size and water capacity again. We're gonna get a giant tongue. And then 20% crit chance, 15% attack size. We're gonna get extra shot prices there, but that uh, crit chance is huge. Plus look how big our tongue is already. I feel like I've already won. The end of the first night, that means the shop is open. The first thing we're gonna buy is a mole turret seed. That's another weapon. Once it's grown up, we're gonna have more weapons. I'm also gonna buy some potato seeds because it's funny. And if we get bored, we can actually sit here and mine some rocks. That just straight up gives us money. Just like in real life, you go smash rocks and coins will fall out. Today we do have a little bit of variety on what's going to attack us, but we're gonna stay near our crops so they're getting watered. Our first uh, mole turret is complete, so he'll pop every once in a while and destroy everything around him. Pretty sure if I sit up here, I will catch fish as well. Not really sure how that works, but we got a fish. I think Critical Gambit is a special one because it's all yellow and ornate. Plus 70% crit damage, minus 50% effectiveness for, yeah, that's fine. Pretty sure we have a pretty sizable crit chance anyway. That was 260 damage on whatever I just whipped. I just really wanted to play a game where I could put my tongue on the entire world. Uh, another night complete and we can touch the dog. I'm gonna buy some pitchfork seeds, stab towards the nearest enemy once those grow up. We'll have another weapon on our hands. I'm also gonna increase the size of our farming plots by six. Now we just slowly sit here and plant away. Planting doesn't actually take very long, so then I'm back to just sort of waiting. But I can go mining and mine some coins. Or I catch some of those beautiful fish. Those seem to level me up well. So we'll take extra fishing yield and damage. But the idiot plants need water because of course they do. Looks like the pitchfork is done, so it's working hard to stab things around me. That's going to be a big help. It's actually already leveled up, so we're going to take plus one pitchfork and plus 20% damage. So that's actually a huge damage increase. And luckily for us, the only thing we're fighting are these geriatric obese flies. I feel like someone just wanted to get them out of the retirement home, so they're like, go attack that frog, don't worry, it'll all be fine. We now have a tadpole spew seed. I'm just gonna get that simply because it sounds funny. Now it's just a matter of planting everything we bought and waiting for the idiots. Uh, while we're waiting for that, we're gonna take watering speed, watering range, watering capacity. That way I can mostly just wander around ignoring the crops. Oh, we got our first boss fight! It's not a geriatric creature, it's a praying mantis that looks actually quite sprightly. He's wandered into our mole turret and he's not very fast. The tadpole spew is done, so we're gonna get plus two amount because that's just giant damage. Praying mantis is dead, time to open the chest. Either a cat or an elephant attacks enemies, damage scales with your level. It also has eyes so big it can see literally everything past and future. Uh, but I'm going to get that because it's going to go around attacking stuff and I feel like the less I have to think the better we're all going to be. Universal suffering, that's why I'm here. Plus 20% damage, 5% enemy damage. That's a fun trade-off. Plus you guys have to watch my video and that's suffering for you. I'm not really sure what's even attacking us at this point. They're sort of like ants but I'm not entirely sure what they are. I guess at any rate there's something I can exploit for my own gain, and I will. We're gonna get Crow Boom Seed, uh, that's like a scarecrow that explodes, we're gonna buy as many of those as we can. Then we're gonna buy a whole bunch of wheat seeds. I don't know if this is the most optimal way to do this, but it seems to be working out well for me. We've still got 12 seeds to plant, so we're finally getting ahead on the crops. I'm actually gonna need a bigger field already, I can even fit everything in there. We got so much to water too, it's a good thing I have that extra water in range. Pretty sure these are fleas. We're now battling the fleas. The scarecrow is leveled up. We're just going to take an extra one because that's essentially 100% extra damage. And I'm pretty sure they're going to act like a landmine and show up everywhere. Pretty sure I broke critical chance earlier, but we're going to get experience gain anyway. What I lack in brain power, I make up for in too much time on my hands. Let's add yet another exploding scarecrow. I'm sure they're doing wonderful work for me. We're going to refill the water bucket and go back to work stabbing bugs in the face. So if I'm reading the bottom thing correctly, the scarecrow is level 2, everything else is still level 1. I do kind of like the feeling of the summoning blade. 25% damage, 10% attack size, we get extra enemy spawns and speed. But I could probably deal with that. So far they're very slow. I'm going to go ahead and mine some rocks uh, while we're waiting for the next wave of enemies. Actually they're already here. I should probably utilize the store now. I feel like I definitely want to upgrade my mole turrets. So we're going to buy more of those seeds and grow them. I think we probably also want to buy a cat because look at all the money we have. So we're going to have another cat. More farming plots. We need more room to grow absolutely everything. Then we're going to buy the most expensive seeds we can because I assume they're the best. Uh, plus extra watering capacity, range, everything. 
And then we got five mole seeds too. We should plant the mole seeds first because they're going to turn into weapons for us. Regular crops, I'm pretty sure, only turn into experience, which is good and all, but we need upgraded weapons too. Like this. Mole turrets have plus three piercing. They're going to destroy everything. I don't have to do anything anymore. I am the destroyer of bugs. Plus one amount, plus 20% attack frequency, plus 10 crit chance. And that's just from the moles. That's going to be strong. And we have a giant spider boss. Well, I'm going to take it on a little tour because I'm pretty sure actually my crops do need water. Okay, stupid. We can't get far from my crops because I decided to grow a million. Yeah, that works out well because he mostly just waddles around until he dies. And then we get his treasure. Plants seeds for you. Waters plants for you. We got an elephant. Who knew that a frog's best ally was an elephant? Uh, I'm going to try and catch a fish or two before morning as well. Those fish add oodles of experience to me. All right, $5,400. Our crops are getting bigger and we're going to get an upgraded stabby pitchfork. Aside from that, we're going to buy grapefruit seeds because look at that experience yield. And I have an elephant here helping us water as well. I do have 14 watering spots myself, so I'm going to add that in. We're basically speedrunning growing crops because they turn into dangerous weapons that we use to destroy everything else. Mostly geriatric bugs that have no chance at all. Pretty sure they were on death's door before they started fighting me. Okay, pitchfork. We're going to add one. We're going to get 30% damage and 20% attack frequency. We're going to be rapid fire stabbing. Let's also take 15% damage, 15% attack duration, 10% attack frequency. We lose some crop yield there, but I mean, we're growing so much anyway, that's fine. Okay, pitchfork leveled up again. Plus one amount, 25% damage, attack frequency, and attack size. That pitchfork's going to be really dangerous. Pretty sure I'm seeing a hit for 400 damage, which seems to be more than enough to defeat the bugs. And to be fair, they are insects that weigh all of half a gram, so it's no surprise we're destroying them. This one's kind of interesting. 2.5% experience gain at the start of each day. That's great for me. I don't know how many days we have to go through, but each day is going to be better. Oh, I guess these pumpkins are done. I never realized I have to walk through the finished crops to get them. This is a wise choice. 15% damage, 15% crop growth speed, 10% enemy spawns. That's okay. I'm a professional. I've made poor choices before. Uh, let's upgrade our tongue lash seed. That's my main weapon that I'm hitting everything with with my tongue. And then we're going to buy as many of whatever these are as I can. Uh, I lured this boss into a squadron of exploding scarecrows and pretty much destroyed him. I'm going to take a little bit more experience gain uh, and potential crit chance, but I'm not really sure I get uh, any more crit chance at this point. Plus five health regen probably isn't the worst idea in the world. That's the first like safe or reliable upgrade I've taken. Tongue Lash is going to get 25% extra damage plus one, so it also whips behind me. We're going to get a cow that fertilizes crops, increasing yield by 30%, so that's an extra 30% experience from the crops we grow, I think. Basically also known as a lot of extra damage. Tongue Lash, we're going to get an extra two plus more attack frequency and damage, so now we're whipping out both sides with that tongue. Everyone gets a taste. Or uh, we get a taste of everyone. We'll take an extra two of those. We're just going to be swinging our tongue back and forth nonstop. Mm, everyone's here for a good time with this frog on the map. It's the most dangerous frog there ever was. Uh, I didn't realize how many of my crops need water. Not surprisingly, I'm not very good at taking care of anything at all. Luckily, I can buy a golden retriever that can retrieve loot for me. That actually sounds helpful because um, there's a few coins lying on the ground I have yet to pick up. Uh, aside from that, we're going to upgrade our stabber in a big way. Yeah, you know what? We need more farming pots. You can never have enough arable land. And then we're going to buy some raspberry seeds. Look at all that experience. That pretty much ran us out of money. But look at all the space we have in a field now. We can plant so many things. We still got another seven crops to plant. I can't even see through all the enemies though. I think those pumpkins up there are done. So we're going to stab our way over to them. Better pitchfork. Two amount, 30% damage, 15% attack frequency. I think we also need plus two water capacity and 10% attack size. We have some elephants helping us out and we got an achievement, but I need better watering myself. The elephants are letting me down. That's what I get for relying on an animal with a nose that big. Max level pitchfork, plus four amount, 25% more damage, 20% attack frequency, 20% knockback. That thing's going to be unstoppable. None of these have any damage, so we're going to go ahead and reroll them. Uh, straight up 10% attack frequency is actually really big. That's basically an extra 10% DPS. So we're going to use that to work our way downwards. Swift swings, 20% damage, 15% attack frequency. The only downside is we lose crit stuff, but I don't know much the crit stuff's working for us. I see we're doing 500 damage though, so that's fun. And since we're doing mostly crops to uh, get all of our stuff, we're going to take crop specialist. That's going to make everything go quicker, but we're going to lose mining and fishing speed. I haven't been doing a lot of mining or fishing, mostly because I forgot about it. 
But you know what, that's okay. If I'm focused in one area, all the loot drops in one area, and then I'll actually pick it up. You just gotta take a breath and stab. Maybe we'll upgrade our tadpole spew speed. There's 13 of those, so we'll buy all 13 of them. Then we're gonna buy pumpkin seeds, because those are easy to see, honestly. The bigger the better. We'll get them all planted down. We have 23 crops to plant. Uh, okay, now we're fighting whatever these are. These are angry bugs. Okay, we're gonna add two tadpole spews with two piercing. Plus some extra damage, so those should help for these clusters of idiots. Uh, okay, this is gonna be okay. We're gonna take plus 4 amount, plus 25% attack frequency. Next, we're gonna go ahead and just straight up take 10% damage. That's gonna pair nicely with everything we got. And more tadpoles. We're gonna take plus 2 amount, plus 2 piercing, and 30% damage. Just based on the number of enemies, that piercing is gonna be huge, because we need to uh, penetrate deep into the horde of bugs. Penetration's really the key to anything in life when you think about it. We also have another boss coming in. It's taking its sweet time to get to us, but once it gets close, it's in trouble because we do a lot of damage up close. Mm, then again, the bosses might be getting tough. Even the regular yellow bugs are getting tough. We somehow are going to need a lot more damage. Well, I'm going to lead him in a walk around my property, and I'm going to grab some water from the well down here. I think we pretty much got this night under wraps, though. We'd like to finish off the big bug. And from the chest emerged a toucan that can plant seeds for me. That's actually pretty helpful. I don't know who's locking animals in chests, but I actually wholeheartedly approve of that. Mm, these aren't attacky enough. These are a little better. Plus 10% attack frequency. $36,000. Where did we get so much money? Okay, we need more tadpoles because we'll get them to max level. Pretty sure max level upgrades are good upgrades. Uh, I'm going to increase the farm plot a little bit more and then buy all these seeds. Then there's some kind of platinum colored coins on the ground. We're also fighting bigger bugs that don't actually look like they came from the retirement home finally. L we're destroying them so far. But just in case, we're going to add 20% damage to ourselves. And we'll share a little bit of damage with the enemies. They get 5% damage. I'm not worried about that because I'm pretty sure they'll mostly die before they get anywhere near me. But now I'm just going to uh, continue planting crops and not really thinking about much of anything. I'm a very busy frog. I can't be bothered with anything. Max level tadpole. I knew it would be good, plus 8 of them. An extra 2 piercing, 40% damage, 25% frequency. So those might become my best weapon now. I'm pretty sure we're going to spray those in any direction and destroy absolutely everything. We're just going to take a little more uh, experience gain. Crops are also thirsty because they're always thirsty. It's not like there's a giant pond of water right next to them, but that's fine. Now we're going to take some experience gain, plus 12% of that. I think at the rate we're planting crops and gaining experience, that's really going to pay out for us. We're going to do that again. 24% experience gain. Plus whatever we're getting in the background automatically. It's hard to see past the enemies to what I'm watering. So I'm just basically walking in circles on my crops. More experience gain. I can also buy a capybara. Apples applies fast grow to crops, making them grow 30% faster. Why, yes. Also because it's funny to have a giant mouse on my farm. And we're going to buy whatever these are. Pumpkin seeds. And then it's back to committing ecocide. We're going to murder all the wildlife on the farm. There's no diversity whatsoever unless you're a big animal. <laughs> resistance? What do I need resistance for? I want to murder things. Plus 10% attack frequency again. They're already going off quite quickly. Oh, here we go. We got another boss fight. So we're going to put him in line with the tongue. We're attacking him hamburger style. And his health is actually dropping really quickly. Considering how far in this is, he's getting melted. Especially thanks to our uh, tadpole attack. We're going to take another capybara. We need those crops to grow quick. Once they're done, so much experience. Nobody's really sure what these bugs are. They're really annoying. We're going to take 15% damage, 15 attack duration, 10% attack frequency. We're going to lose crop yield, but I'm pretty sure the cow or capybara or something gives us extra of that. So we'll be fine. I'm feeling pretty overpowered as it is, so I'm not really worried about the choices we make. Although these flaming bugs might be a little bit tougher. Well, I'm not wrong. They are tougher, but they're not as tough as I am. Didn't I get a dog to pick up all these coins on the ground? Whatever happened to him? Wait, can my animals die? Maybe I should have been protecting them. I mean, even if they- I still won't protect them. I want the crops. The crops are immediately useful to me. We're just straight up going to take 10% damage because I don't want to lose anything at this point. Those numbers are getting pretty big and we need to keep it that way. Okay, let's buy some more tongue seeds. Also, 10% attack frequency. That's actually getting really strong. That's why we're attacking so quick and doing so much damage. Today we're being attacked by a diverse amount of bugs. Looks like they're not really going to uh, pose much of a threat to us either. And we do need some water though. I always forget this one is here. And we have such range on our watering now that we can get that from pretty much anywhere. Plus 15% damage. We don't need knockback. I'm pretty sure most of everything will die on the first hit anyway. Tongue lash. Plus 3 amount. 35% damage. And it gets big. <laughs> Look at the size of that tongue. That's the kind of content we're here to see. Let's make it even bigger. Plus 50% attack size. How big can our tongue get? 
<laughs> it's already going like a quarter of the way across the screen. Uh, well, we're at it. Let's just add 30% attack frequency. Uh, we lose feature attack frequencies, but we're attacking quick enough as it is. I don't think that's going to make a big difference. Tongue Lash, plus 3 amount, 40% damage. I mean, this tongue is so big, it's pretty much the ultimate weapon at this point. Let's make it a little bit bigger, 15% attack size. Let's add 15% crit damage and damage. We lose projectile speed, but do we care about projectile speed? I've got a really big tongue. Nothing else matters. 20% damage, 15% attack frequency. We lose mining, fishing, and planting uh, speed. Mm, but what does that matter? We're doing over a thousand damage with our giant tongue. I guess now we will upgrade our scarecrows a lot. We're going to plant 19 of those plus whatever these are. Then we're going to have ADD and wander over here and pick up stuff we didn't need. And then we're actually going to... Wow, look at all those. The hornets. Y luckily hornets aren't very strong. We're actually melting those. Oh, there's a big praying mantis. And we're also going to take the uh, exploding scarecrow upgrade. Hello, my friend. Are you here for the tasting? I'm here to taste you. We're going to put everything here in our mouth. That's actually kind of funny because like 40% of the games I play that ends up being my goal for some reason. We're going to get a cow. Uh, these uh, hornets actually hurt a lot when they do hit me. So I need to be just a little careful not to walk into them basically. Uh, I think there's actually another boss that spawned. So I guess we'll just take some health regen because the uh, choices aren't all that fun. We're going to take crit damage and damage again just so when we're hitting things it really 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 hurts. There's hits for 1150. You know what, let's also make our attack size a lot bigger. Come on this way, <laughs> we're bigger tongue than ever before. That's the only thing that matters in this world. We'll get more elephants. I'm going to have an absolute army of elephants. And we got an achievement for having 10 pets in one run. Pretty sure most of which are elephants that so don't actually water anything. But that's fine, I'm not busy doing anything. I'll water the crops. The scarecrow leveled up. Attack size, I'm pretty sure they explode, so who doesn't love a big explosion? I wonder how many dollars there are lying on the ground. Also, somehow we picked up crops. Scarecrow, max level, plus one amount, 40% damage. The only thing left to upgrade is the mole turret. We could buy 20 of those, we could buy another capybara, and then we're gonna buy grapefruit seeds. Look at the size of the scarecrows, I made everything so big. <laughs> My tongue isn't the only big thing on this farm. Oh, and they're gonna get even bigger, plus 15% size. There's no stopping us now. I feel like we're also gonna have giant moles. They're gonna get an extra two piercing. Uh, they're gonna be really, really, really big. And also really, really, really strong. I don't really care about projectile speed, so we'll just add a little bit more damage in there. No, 1300 damage for whatever that is that's hitting things. But we're gonna take extra mole power. You know, I'm pretty sure if I sit here in the middle of my scarecrows, nothing can actually reach me because the explosions are so big and strong at this point. We also have giant moles on the farm. We have giant everything. We now also have max level moles. We're going to take plus one, but plus five piercing, huge attack frequency and damage. I actually have max level weapons across the board. So now it's just a matter of adding, you know, 10% damage. Pretty much whatever we want. We're just destroying everything at this point. And I've been informed we've turned into Wumbo. I'm not really sure what that is, but we're doing a hundred million damage. This works for me. I'm going <laughs> to run around and destroy the world now. And that was a Legend of Joe, whose tongue could tickle the other side of the universe.